Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design cell data engagement ring in the Rhino. So let's get started. So let's go to the front view and double click on it. Now let's use the circle and type 0 and enter. And let's choose the diameter option and put it 1.5 inch. Okay, now let's go to the right side view. And here we are going to create a supply curve. So use control point curve and let's start from this base point. And keep it straight line at this section. And now let's uh, disable this auto. And now let's start click on this left side. And now let's click on the right side. Just for a couple of points. And right click. Okay, now we need to adjust this control point curve by selecting this control point. You can adjust this the way you like until you get your desired result. Okay, I am done with the adjusting of this curve. Now let's go to the perspective. Okay, look like our curve is not projected to the C plane. So let's fix that. Now type projected to C plane. And now let's go to the right side view. And select this curve and right click. Now type yes or Y and enter. Okay, now our curve is perfectly aligned with the C plane. Now we are going to use a uh, curve from to view and click this tool and select this circle and select this curve. Okay, we got it. Now we don't need this open supply anymore. So select this and delete it. Now let's go to the right side view. Okay, I need to go to top view and we need to adjust some control point. Okay, I want all these control points perfectly aligned with the ACZ. So let's go here and choose this tool and choose set Y and type 0 and enter. Okay, now it is perfect. Now let's go to the top view. And here we are going to create a rounder rectangle. And let's start from this right side. And I'm going to use just a free end technique for this. You can type any dimension if you want to. Just don't make it very uh, big in sight. Okay, now let's go to the perspective. And let's go to the right side. And we need to move this to the downward position where straight section has changed into curve. Uh, just about right uh, here. Okay, uh, that's perfect. Now let's go to the perspective. And we need to move this to the curve. So let's use move command. And click on this uh, midpoint. And let's click on this uh, intersection point. Just right here. Okay, now we need to mirror this to the other side. Let's hide previous circle, this one. And let's go to the front view. And let's mirror this to the other side. Choose mirror to and type 0 and click in the vertical direction. And now let's rotate this first cross section and type 0. And let's rotate this about 90 degree. And don't forget to click on copy yes option. Okay, now let's go to the perspective. Uh, we need to move this to the correct position. So select it and move it. And click on this midpoint. And let's put it right at this quadrant point. Okay, that's perfect. And now let's go to the right side view. And select this cross section. And let's move this gizmo to the right side. Because we need to transform this cross section into a narrow cross section and right click. Now click on this scale and scale it down. And let's click on this gizmo and scale it up. Okay, now we need to rotate a little bit. Okay, that's enough. Now let's go to the perspective view. Now let's go to the surface step and choose sweep one rail and select this rail. 
and we need to select all these cross section let's start from this cross section and this one and this one okay and now right click now we need to move this control point to the inside so click here and click on this midpoint and let's change this direction okay let's change the control point from this point click here and move it at this midpoint okay now everything is perfect and right click now you can play with the setting in this dialog box it's up to you if you satisfy the result you can click ok now let's go to the right side view uh, we need to mirror this so let's use a mirror command and type 0 and enter and now we need to click in the vertical direction so press shift key and click it now let's go to the perspective and select both this surface and open the property dialog box and remove this check mark from show iso curve Let's go to the frame view and change the visual style to wireframe and here we are going to create an arc so choose three point arc start end and middle point and let's disable the snap point and click right here first point and click here for the second point and let's click here for the third point now we need to transform this curve so select it and transform it okay that's good from the front view now let's go to the right side view and let's move it over a little bit okay now uh, we need to select all these control point and transform it so select this control point and transform it into the required shape Okay, there is perfect from the right side view. Let's go to the perspective. Okay, that's also good from right here. Now change the visual style to wireframe. Now let's create a rounded triangle cross section on this curve. So choose this cross section and click on long curve and select this curve and click on this point. And now let's use freehand technique to draw this rounded rectangle on this. Okay, that's uh, enough. Okay, now let's create one more. So let's choose the same tool. And let's click on long curve. And select this curve. And select this endpoint. I mean, click on this endpoint. And let's create a rounded rectangle. Okay, that's enough. Now let's change the visual style to go to mode. And we are going to apply sweep command on this cross section and curve. Click on record history because we will need to change the result after we apply it. Now let's go to the service tab and click on sweep one rail and select this curve and now select this cross sections and right click. Now we need to move this control point to the inside and click on this arrow. Okay, this is already inside. Just click on this arrow and right click. Now you can play with the sudden here. I'm not going to change anything. So click on OK. Now we need to increase the size of this cross section. Let's click on this scale and let's increase it white. And let's do it for this cross section too. Select this and click on this scale handle and increase it. Now right click. Now we need to trim the unnecessary part of this last surface. So let's change the visual style to wireframe. And select this surface and use trim command. And let's trim this inside surface. Okay, now let's select another surface, uh, this one. And use trim command again. And select this inside part. And select this one too. Okay, that's perfect. Now select this surface. We need to mirror it. So choose mirror command, type 0 and enter. 
press shift and click allow it is a now select both the surface and use the menu command one more time type zero and click allow the y is a okay now this is perfect and let's use the round rectangle one more time uh, we need to create a cross chain for the seat of diamond stone uh, just use a uh, free hand technique for it uh, now let's change the visual style to shade it and select it and let's rotate it to align with the side surface okay we need to rotate a little bit more okay now we need to create a line uh, so use the line command and type 0 and press shift and click along y z now let's go to the perspective now we are going to use reverse surface command for this choose here and let's click on this point and click on this point and right click a couple of times okay now we got the seat for the diamond stone we can place it right here now let's unhide the previous curve and now click on this runner rectangle and let's go to the top view and let's select half of this control point and let's move this control point uh, from this midpoint uh, to the midpoint of this adjacent surface and this point and click right here okay now we need to mirror this to the other side so select it and use the mirror command and type 0 and press shift and click along the y z okay that's perfect now we are going to use swift command one more time so let's go to the service step and click on sweep one rail select this rail and select this cross section and right click now we need to move this control point to the inside let's do it for this one too okay now right click okay that's look perfect i'm not going to change anything click okay now let's import the diamond stone go to find and choose import and select this diamond ring and now let's move this to the correct position and we need to scale it up if you want this diamond file you can download it i have already given you the link in the description box so go to there and download it okay that's enough now let's go to the perspective now select this surface and isolate the rest because i want to turn this into solid and select this and run the cap command okay now let's do the same for other surfaces let's unhide it okay now you can union all these solid if you want to or you can leave the way it was now let's go to the right side view and here we need to create a curve i have already done it let me show you it okay this is the curve i just use line and filler command to make this curve you can do the same this is just for the holder of diamond stone now let's uh, create a circle on this curve so use the circle command and click on long curve and click on this curve and now click on this point and you can use free hand technique to make this circle and i'm gonna type just diameter 0 0.06 and enter now let's use the sweep command and select sweep one rail select this rail and select this cross chain and right click and click ok now let's turn this surface into solid so run the cap command and select this surface okay look like i need to move this to the right a little bit so let's go to the right side view and let's move it to the right just for a little bit okay that's perfect now select this cup we don't need it anymore and now let's go to the top view and let's change the visual style to shade it and select this uh, we need to rotate this to the other side so use the rotate command type 0 and enter and press shift and click along this is it i mean why is it and let's rotate about here 
Okay, now we need to mirror this to the other side. And select this curve, delete it. We don't need it anymore. Now select this solid, I mean holder, and use the mirror command. And type 0. And press shift and click along ACZ. Okay, now select this both holder. And use the same mirror command. And type 0. And press shift and click along YZ. Now let's apply Ruby material on this stone. So select it and go to property. And click property. And now click on material session. And click on this bar. And now click on use a new material. And you have to choose a gem material. And here you have to choose the Ruby material from here. Okay, now you can close this. And in this way, you can apply other material on these services. Please do it yourself. Now let's copy this Ruby stone to the left and right side. Let's go to the front view. And let's copy this. And place it right here. And we need to scale it down. Press shift and scale it down. And let's rotate a little bit. Okay, let's place it in correct position. So that's all for today guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.